so today in this video we are going to talk about one of the very important uh, topic that is lactose fermenting enteric bacteria so you have to know that lactose fermenting enteric bacteria there are mainly three bacteria that ferment lactose and they are the enteric bacteria those are escherichia coli enterobacter and klebsiella among these three uh, you have to know in detail about escherichia coli and klebsiella because they are of great importance in term of various medical conditions so the lactose fermenting enteric bacteria ferment lactose thus the the lactose fermenting enteric bacteria can be grown on the macunkia agar and their colonies appear pink you can also see in this picture the lactose fermenting enteric bacteria of the uh, the lactose fermenting enteric bacteria on the macunkia agar uh, the pink colonies are seen but if we look at the emb uh, agar that is eosin methylene blue agar using methylene blue agar the colonies are purple or black uh, the e coli is with green seen so now let us discuss uh, more detail about escherichia coli and klebsiella the escherichia coli is the gram negative indole positive rods and the various virulence factors of the escherichia coli are fimbria capsule and lipopolysaccharide endotoxin so the uh, fimbria capsule and lipopolysaccharide endotoxins are the virulence factor of the escherichia coli the fimbria uh, causes the cystitis and the pyelonephritis whereas the uh, the capsule causes the pneumonia and neonatal meningitis the lipopolysaccharides endotoxin causes the uh, septic shock so these are the three very important uh, virulence factor that you should know in the escherichia coli now let us talk about the various strains of the e coli the various strains of the e coli are enteroinvasive e coli enterotoxigenic e coli enteropathogenic e coli and enterohemorrhagic e coli the enterohem enteroinvasive e coli mainly causes dysentery the enteroinvasive e coli strains uh, invades the intestinal mucosa and causes necrosis and the inflammation thereby causing the dysentery the enterotoxigenic uh, e coli causes the travelers diarrhea the enterotoxigenic e coli produces heat level and the heat stable enterotoxin uh, but there is no inflammation or invasion in the enterotoxigenic e coli so the purely enterotoxin are responsible for the diarrhea the enteropathogenic e coli are mainly responsible for childhood diarrhea the enteropathogenic uh, e coli are no toxin are produced by this strain but it adheres to the apical surface and it flattens the villi of the intestine thereby preventing the absorption and causing the uh, diarrhea in the child the enterohemorrhagic e coli causes the dysentery the enterohemorrhagic e coli um, is also known as o157 is to h7 so it is the most common type of most common serotype that is found in the united states and it is often transmitted via the undercooked meat raw and leafy vegetables you have to know that the toxin is ciga like toxin the ciga like toxin causes the hemolytic uremic syndrome the hemolytic uremic syndrome consists of triad of anemia thrombocytopenia and acute kidney injury so what happen is that it causes uh, various these disorders by the uh, microthrombi forming on the damaged endothelium thus causing the mechanical hemolysis so and there is platelet consumption and there is decreased renal uh, blood flow so if there is a mechanical hemolysis there is the anemia and if there is more platelet consumption there is thrombocytopenia and if there is uh, decreased renal blood flow then there is the acute kidney injury now uh let us talk about the klebsiella species the klebsiella are the gram negative rods so mainly the risk of uh, acquiring infection of the klebsiella occurs in alcoholics and diabetic patient because of the aspiration there can occur the low bar pneumonia the colonies appears mucoid uh, you can also see in this picture that the colonies of the uh, klebsiella is mucoid in appearance 
the mucoid appearance of this colony e occurs due to the abundant polysaccharide capsule the sputum of the uh, person infected with the klebsiella occurs dark red or current jelly like you can also see in this picture dark red or current jelly like sputum uh, is seen that is blood and mucus is mixed in the sputum causing the dark red current jelly like uh, sputum so the klebsiella is one of the main causes of the nosocomial urinary tract infection which is associated with the multi drug resistance so the note to remember in the klebsiella is that it mainly occurs by the aspiration and aspiration pneumonia can occur there is abscess to the lung and liver the current jelly sputum is seen it is mainly associated with the diabetic patient and mainly associated with the ethanol use also you uh, appears in the alcoholics so in this video we have talked about the various lactose ferment fermenting enterics uh, they appear pink colonies on the mekong agar uh, purple or black colonies on the eosin methylene blue agar we talked about the escherichia coli we talked about various strain like enterinvasive enterotoxigenic enteropathogenic and enterohemorrhagic we also talked about the klebsiella the klebsiella the colonies of the klebsiella appears mucoid uh, and it mainly causes the aspiration pneumonia so i hope you understood this topic this lecture on the lactose fermenting enterics mainly escherichia coli and klebsiella thank you